Guys, this is Jerry unboxing and product reviews. I got my friend Jay. Nice to be here. I have to give him credit because he brought me in the marketplace to find this. It's kind of getting blocked by the light over there. But here's what it is, guys. It's deuterium depleted water. So when Jay and I saw this, we both kind of were like, what is this? Yeah, I was confused yeah. as hell. But um, Jerry actually was like, oh, deuterium. And he started explaining yeah. it to me. And I yeah. go, the fact that you even know what that is means that I'm going to for sure buy this. <laughs> so very brief explanation for all of you guys. Hydrogen, right? The most basic element in the periodic table in our universe. It's a proton and an electron. So an atom is made out of a proton, a neutron, and an electron. So hydrogen is the only element that doesn't have a neutron. However, that's not the full story. Because there's isotopes, as in other forms of hydrogen, that have neutron. And that is what deuterium is. The normal hydrogen is called protium. The deuterium is one proton, one neutron and one electron so it's got that extra neutron neutron neutral so it doesn't have a charge but according to science which we'll explain later apparently it does something to the body so, which is crazy which is crazy yeah. exactly you you just like do one little neutron it's a neutron it should be neutral yeah exactly I mean, no negative effects. no negative effects exactly so um there's a third form of hydrogen called tritium tri so three so it's got two neutrons and a proton so a good way to remember this is do like two like mm -hmm. duo so deuterium has two things in the center it is is it deuterium yeah it's deuterium it is deuterium so now you guys know um this is the deuterium the reason why um there's probably not a lot of tritium in our water because the isotopes as in the different forms of hydrogen occur at smaller and smaller rates right rarer and rarer so the original hydrogen, just one proton and one electron, of course, is the most abundant thing in the universe. The second one, it's much rarer. Deuterium is much rarer. It's, it occurs in everywhere, but at a rarer rate. And the tritium is very rare. Gotcha. So, yeah, a little trivia. So, But I guess deuterium still occurs in the water enough that water has to, you know, really white people type of... <laughs> yeah, now know? here's the whole thing. Because he's explaining it to me, yeah. and, and I sit here, and every time I go to this store, it's Erewhon, and it's it's a kind of a fancier version of Whole Foods for Los Angeles yeah. people. And they have things that you would just think are absolutely unnecessary. Yeah. And honestly, this is one of the things... and. I looked at this and I, I just thought, this is really cool, but people go crazy over it. Yeah. There. I yeah. see somebody with this jug every time I go in there, sometimes with multiple jugs, and it's what? all over the store. I mean, in the water section, the health yeah, yeah. section, every drink I section, noticed that. and even in the checkout section. In the that, checkout section, that's how I picked this, this up. Yes. I just walked in, first yeah. thing, it's right yeah. here in the checkout section. Yeah. So I'm wondering, is this just a fad, like you said? Is yeah. this a yeah. fad for rich people? Because we've been in this world for, you know, tens of thousands of years you know yeah. as a as a modern man yeah and even long before that yeah. as just animals in yeah. this world and our sapien species has been around for three hundred thousand years exactly so we haven't you know we haven't had any companies sitting there giving us deteriorate de de deteriorate de yeah, deuterium <laughs> depleted deuterium, okay yeah. depleted or water. ddw you just call it ddw we haven't had any ddw water yeah. made for us but yeah. we've been doing just fine yeah you know yeah. and there's people who live to 120 years old the people who've lived the longest in the world they, they're not sitting here drinking this water yeah exactly. i mean to my knowledge no one's saying that yeah it's yeah. the first time i hear about it so to me it seems like la fad and how much did it cost this bottle right here which i mean you could see like a normal hand right here this is 26 bucks 26 bucks 27 with tax 27 with tax, tax yeah. and stuff like that so it's not cheap this is expensive so this is definitely one of the things that you know you could use as a gimmick for la like yeah. hey you yeah. have to drink your water that's yeah. ddw yeah it's like i don't know do you yeah and how was the taste that's another huge thing and i'm a big water connoisseur i think jerry you mentioned in a different video but uh, I really want to see how yeah, this works. I really tastes. want to see how this tastes too. Um, before I explain all the science rabbit hole, I went down with just taste this because I don't want to bias you based on what I say. Uh, so let's just let's taste so let's this. Let's taste it first. Yeah, okay, let's this. get a glass. Okay, I got a I got a cup here. And I, would and you like uh, to break the seal? Yes, I will break the seal. Thank do you. Do the honor, absolutely. Oh! I just I smelled rich white people. Right I know, there. I know. It smells it's like it's amazing. It. <laughs> all right. Oh, cool. Thank you. Absolutely. So, let's see if it pours any different. Ah, pours nice. It'd be funny if, like, you spilled on the floor and we just spilled $26 <laughs> water. 
Okay. Yeah. And smell this water. you can drink from the bottle. You can okay. drink from the bottle. I'll drink from the bottle because I'm probably going to take this home and, and just kind of drink. Nice. Me. Nice. So you know what? We're actually gonna get one. more Okay, glass. we're gonna get one more guy here. We're get one more. Some glass guy here. wants to try this. There's, with us. there's some weird guy yeah. who wants to try this. A with third us. guy who's been on our channel. <laughs> Too I many think guys before, here. But he wants to try some of this. Yeah. Um, he's a redhead, and he'll he'll he's make actually... his face shown next time because he's on the phone right now. <laughs> so, Drink up. This is healthy. This yeah. is your medicine. Deuterium depleted water. All right. <laughs> cheers. All right. See how it tastes. Right, we'll give it a grade from one to ten. Oh, it does taste good. Hmm. I'm gonna say this. It might be my mind acting up. It does taste lighter, which is the point of this water, right? Deuterium is slightly heavier than normal protium hydrogen, so it tastes lighter on my palate. I don't know why. Like, you know distilled water? Yes. It kind of tastes like a lighter version of distilled ex water. Yeah, exactly. When you first drink it... Wow. I'm going to have a little bit more. Yeah, dive in. Thank you. Know, you. It I has... just went swimming, so... <laughs> nice. It has that, that distilled water taste. Like, if you get Aquafina, you know, you drink it, you're like... I used to love that as a kid, but then I grew up and I thought, you know, this is... It's not. It doesn't taste good anymore. Now yeah. it tastes too weird. It like almost yeah. like a battery. Yeah, or something. exactly. It tastes too processed. Yeah. Yeah. This has that initial flavor, and then you pull down, and as you're drinking it, the after flavor really is. It's calm. It yeah, calms it's down a very instantly. calming, light after flavor. Exactly. Which is nice. Yeah. But I gotta compare it now. Oh, your water favorite, I always his drink. favorite water. This is, I've, the I've one had, that I felt like was a ripoff. Exactly, and I'm telling you, my palate for water is ridiculous. It's way too sensitive, so I, I can taste wow, this water. This it is really good water. See, this just tastes like absolute plain water. Like absolute, just real, crisp, simple, no flavor, like absolute neutral water. But at the same time, I, I feel like it's... Uh, I know there's some nutrients in there. I see. You know, I can I see. taste the minerals in there too. Wow. It, it's really chill. I enjoy it. It's so wow. thirst quenching and fulfilling. This water. This one, it's like, it's like I'm, I'm having a different meal. Yeah, it's it like really I'm does feel like you're having different. a different meal. I love that description. I'm not even drinking water normal it's just like yeah. I'm, I'm trying to exercise or something it almost like feel that. like you're drinking a cloud in a very weird way yeah i don't think i would i would drink this all the time and be wow. happy I, I feel like i would need more i would need yes. something different i feel like if i drank let's say i i spent two thousand bucks bought a hundred of these yeah wait wait that math doesn't add up but it, you you yeah. get my you get my own point uh, two 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 thousand bucks for a thousand of these if i bought a thousand of these I'd be drinking them, and I still want regular water. That's how I yes, feel. Yes, I would feel that way, too. I mean, even if this is doing something great to me, I, I wouldn't be able to drink yeah. this all the time. Yeah. And I think maybe that's the body's way of telling us that we need regular water. We can't have water that has no deuterium. I mean, um, from my understanding, you can't get rid of deuterium completely, right? So, basically, de deuterium depleted just means it's got however percent fewer deuterium molecules than the usual water. Now, it, this says it has been uh, before and after mineralization, so it looks like it has added minerals in it. Oh, there, so it has added minerals. Which, honestly, a lot of companies do that for taste, for taste. because that mineral will add flavor to it. Whereas this, this they pull just... it straight out of the spring, wow. and this has minerals in it straight out of the spring. Yeah, so, so it's not added, it's just part of it. It's part yeah, of it. I and, see. and to me, I feel like that is, I, I don't know, as a human being, in my, in my DNA my ancestors have drank water and I feel like this is the most normal water I've, it, uh, I've ever had. It's like, well, I feel like my ancestors were drinking 50,000 years ago. Dude, it's Straight weird. I'm telling you, this doesn't quench my thirst for some weird reason. It, it doesn't quench let me, my thirst. Let me drink some of this. Some it's of that. it's not quenching my, you know, I've said this is overrated, but at least this tastes like water. Let's see if this quenches my thirst. Yeah, this definitely tastes different than that. This tastes yeah. this tastes much heavier. Yeah, it tastes heavier. It's like I I get that oomph, that crunch. Yeah, I'm getting something, some sustenance when I drink that water. With this one, it's like 
just like Jerry said, it's light. It's like water light. Yeah. Here's what I'm going to say. I might just give the next genius a business plan by saying this, but I feel like this on the hair might be really good. Because yeah. the, the common complaint that all those like cutesy little Asian girls say about American water is that American water is too heavy. It's got too many minerals. So this literally takes rid of all the minerals, including a type of water that we didn't know was heavy. So maybe if you shower with this, like it might regrow your hair. I'm just totally BSing, but I just get this feeling. Or, you know, my mom, she uses, uh, she's into the beauty thing when she does her hair she actually uses distilled water to wash uh, her hair so she'll buy distilled water and wash her hair with that because uh, apparently that's better for you okay so and i know in vegas for some reason a lot of people have soft water yes and i'm not yes. sure what soft water is it's just the a lot of the bad minerals in there are removed like yeah. water in china is more soft too see i when i wash my hands with it the only reason that i can tell soft and hard water is soft water when i soak my hands up and I wash it off I still feel there's some type of soapy residue it never goes away with soft water uh, but with like the water out here the hard water it just I can feel it right off I feel yeah. my hands my skin I know that soap is gone basically but, the minerals and stuff in the waters are attaching to the soap at a higher rate maybe that's why it's uh, yeah, that's interesting I, yeah we should I wish we had a, we should definitely review soft water in Vegas which, let's take a trip to Vegas yeah I'll pay for the hotel. I mean it. I want to stay in the Luxor, that hotel that everyone hates. But I want to stay in that. I want to stay in the Luxor, the little like that. It looks like the pyramid, pyramid of Egypt. Thing, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna stay there. We're gonna test out soft water. Yeah, we'll see. There's there's some places that have soft water, so we'll go to a spot that has it. And we'll test it out. So guys, I will very briefly explain to you some of the science I looked up. A lot of the research is new, and something that Jay and I will maintain and insist is that just because it's peer reviewed research doesn't even mean it's good. A lot of these research companies will just fully fake the data. I'm saying that because I've had family members work in companies where before my family members went there, everything was good. And then it's like my family members very honest. They're doing the experiments. It's like, it's not showing the same results. What the heck? Well, those fuckers just ended up faking stuff to get investment. Yeah. So take all of this with a grain of salt. Okay. But from what I researched, Deuterium, so D2O, deuterium water, heavy water in its normal concentration in the body, etc. It leads to different types of responses in places like the mitochondria. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. So, if apparently if you reduce the D2O in your body, your cell will produce more energy. So that's one thing. Another thing is about the oxidation. Apparently, if you reduce the D2O, we all know oxidation is bad. So if you reduce the D2O f from your body, it leads to fewer oxidation. So it's probably better for cancer preventing and maybe cancer treatment. So an antioxidant in a sense. Yes, yeah, in, in a way, it's this is maybe an antioxidant property. Now, you can get probably more antioxidants from a blueberry than you exactly. get from drinking exactly. this water. Yeah. And especially on the scale, you know, like yeah. how much of this water would you have to drink to get the same antioxidant effects as like a blueberry? Yeah. So that's what I'm thinking. Like, is this, is it really worth it? And yeah. then what you yeah. said before, like, is it, is there that much uh, effect to make your cell grow? I mean, in theory, yeah, it should make your cells, you know, more efficient, more efficient, yeah. but is it really delivering the fuel in high enough quantities to do that to your cells, yeah. you would actually see an effect. Yeah. Compared to if you had a healthy diet. Exactly. And um, apparently there's also some effects on the lipids and stuff. Basically, I think, and I think Juliana would agree with me on this, if someone has terminal cancer or something like that, and they want every type of little thing to make themselves live longer or maybe even reverse this condition that let's say mainstream science is too risk averse to try i would say yes get this yeah but and when you're in that position everything every little piece helps yeah if if this can extend there was a study i read it extended rats with lung cancer's life span by i don't know like like two weeks or something or two months you know, that's two weeks, two months, man. I mean, that's pretty in, good. In human comparison, if you were to do that, yeah. that would be, you know, yeah. a, a nice fun time yeah. to live some more. Yeah. But I know in um, certain cancer patients that I've talked to in the past and that I've lived around and had in my family, they, uh, they've they been told that they can only drink distilled water mm. for certain situations and certain illnesses. 
doctors say, well, you know, we recommend that you only drink purified distilled water. Wow. And uh, that, that I always found weird. And that's actually when I stopped drinking purified water. Mm -hmm. When I realized, oh, wow, that has a completely different flavor yeah. 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 Than, than regular water. And I realized I'm not sick. I don't need to be drinking yeah. this water. Yeah. And another thing, I think I wish we had a pH marker. I want to test the pH of this. Because I think they say what the oh, they pH say what the pH of it is. Yeah. That'd be good to look at. I'll tell you in a Distilled second. Distilled water has a neutral pH, um, which is technically eight pH. Oh, this is eight pH. So it's a basic. It's it's slightly basic. So some of the taste could be just a basic. Like when you taste a base in your tongue, yeah, you might you might like your tongue's gonna taste a base. Where what this is the is pH? seven point three to seven point seven pH. So the pH of your blood is seven point four. So. Um, the rule of thumb is you don't want stuff ending up, um, you don't want to make your blood more acidic, right? That's not good because if you make your blood more acidic, the body wants to balance it back to 7.4. So it will drain calcium from your bones. So a treatment they have for people with osteoporosis and stuff is to just give them a, some kind of base solution and then what, like a bicarbonate or something. And what it does is it can affect sort of the blood pH and then your body's normal blood calcium content is going to go down a little and it's going to get returned to your bones. So the reason I'm ranting all that is potentially if, if this has that effect too, so it's like it's got the deuterium depletion in, it's a basic thing, then it kills two birds with one stone. See, and that's, that's for someone who would need that, but like normal people, our body can take that acidity. Yeah. Yeah. And we can convert that into whatever pH that we need to. It's like, you know, yeah. when we yeah. go out in the cold, our body temperature is what, like 96 point something, yeah. right? Yeah. Something like that. So, I mean, if we go to a really cold environment, our body maintains that temperature yeah, exactly. because we're healthy. If we go yeah. to a really hot environment, our body can maintain that temperature. Yeah. Just like our pH is a, is a nice 7.4. Yeah. I grew up eating lemons like crazy. I was addicted to lemons. And I only ate, until this day, I only eat things with super acidity. But, you know, my, my blood pH level is perfect because my body can take that yeah. acidity and convert it into whatever it needs to be. Yeah. And a normal healthy person does that. But yeah. like he's saying, if your body is suffering from something where it's not able to do that properly, something like this seems like it would be clutch. Yeah. But for the normal person, like, you know, you and I, the general public, I think this is like overkill. Yeah. This is yeah. kind of like, a, like, not a scam. I wouldn't say it's a scam. Yeah. I would say it's it's something that is probably more unnecessary yeah. than somebody would, it's, would give it credit for. We are not the target audience. Yeah. The target audience is people who throw $20,000 in a chip at, in Vegas. Like, they would drink this type of stuff. Yeah, and even then, they, I mean, they shouldn't because it's not something that they need. You know, you don't, you don't if you're rich, you shouldn't be drinking this yeah. water. If you're rich, you, your diet's probably good enough. Yeah. Just like Juliana says. You should be drinking this water. Yeah. Yeah, you know, exactly. something that tastes good. You don't need to be drinking something that's for sick people. I mean, it's like eating baby food because, you know. Because oh, it's, it's, it's healthy. Yeah, yeah, it's healthy. It's like, well, guess I've what? done that before. I have done that too. When I was really sick, actually, I had baby food because it's easy to digest and healthy. And I was like, great. I'm like a baby now. You know, so that's that's fantastic. If it's available and you need it, great. I think sick people or somebody who who's suffering from certain conditions, this is a fantastic water to yeah. have. But I still think... Someone's going to feel inspired by this and or even make this to wash their hair. Even your hair, I bet it, you know, there's absolute potential. There's a lot yeah. of crazy things for your hair. This yeah. is totally do that. I mean, listen to what he said about what his mom does. Maybe distilled water is good enough, man. Maybe I should start washing my hair with distilled water. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a trip. Apparently, wow. it's, a, it's a, like a girl secret or people with long hair secret. I don't, I don't do that. So. Yeah, it could be yeah. just genetics. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Wow. So yeah, there's there's the. Uh, sure. I was super excited to try this oh, water. Flora. Yeah, twenty seven dollars oh, for this water. Wow. And um, is it worth it? Sure, if you need it. Yeah. But you probably don't need it. Yeah. They probably and it won some award right here. What oh, is this? it did. Yeah, it won the twenty uh, eighth Berkeley Springs Gold Medal winner International Water Tasting. I can't believe this won a water tasting award. Mm, because you like yours. This is so much more delicious. Oh, I, I disagree. I like this one better. Really? Yeah. You like that yeah. one better. That is crazy. This actually tastes like I'm getting some. This tastes like a little... Mm. <laughs> so good. Where's... You also left one over there too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hank's supposed to drink that. Ah. Well, regardless, yeah. So some people like it. Some people don't. It's got a very clean flavor. Almost too clean for my comfort. It's like somebody is is uh, sitting there 
It's like I'm making love in a surgical glove. I don't want if I don't want it to be like I want to taste that other person. I want to smell. I want my senses filled with with what I'm I'm enjoying. I don't that want, is actually a like really a good image. Deprivation. Like, the way I tasted it, it felt like a really nice chef made you this little bit of food yeah. to taste. Like that's how I feel is when yeah, I drink it, the water. This is like too pure. I'm yeah. sitting I wanna have this which tastes like I mean in a water equivalent it would be like a hamburger. Like mm-hmm. I'm diving I'm into joking. some juice. Like, I'm joking. Mm, there's so much flavor into this. Mm-hmm. So this is and I can taste my senses are definitely satisfied with that. Whereas this I'm left wanting more. Yeah. That's my review as someone who's uh, obsessed with water. That's so. right. That's right. <laughs> so guys we bought this $27 water, so you don't have to. She's supposed to drink one of these per day, according to our calculations. This so is one of these. Yeah, because this is 64 ounces, and they say you should drink eight cups of water a day. Yeah. One cup is eight ounces, so eight times eight, 64 ounces, that's what this is. That's all you drink. Yeah. So, well, I mean, that's like minimum. That's like yeah, minimum. If you're an you athlete, you should be something. drinking more. Yeah. Honestly, I yeah. feel like you should be drinking more, yeah. depending on your lifestyle. But exactly. You should minimum get eight glasses. So, we spent the $27 so that you can see what it's like. That's 900 a month. 900 a month. $27 a day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Wow. So that's 900 a month. On water. It's on water. Un- it's unnecessary. Spending 900 a month on water. If you're rich and you're sick. And you decide based on our spending the money if this was worth it. It tastes like whole lot of emptiness <laughs> that was a great way to put it yeah. so if you're sick or something try it but um we spent sick the 27 so okay think about that you want to spend the 27 knowing what we think about this uh, if i watch this video i'd probably spend it because i'd want to see what you guys are talking about oh, just to see what you're talking about yeah but at the same time if you don't want to spend that 27 if you're fine with it i would get a bottle of aquafina and then a bottle of spring water take some aquafina and then chase it with spring water and that's pretty much what this tastes like <laughs> you're a honestly. water connoisseur i love it i was gonna say water snob but water connoisseur. Hey, i'll take water yeah. snob too yeah so guys if you do buy it you should review it too send us a video we'll feature it yeah you gotta let us know what yeah, you, you gotta let us know it. what you think please and, and again last time if you want to see it end of the video o p h o r a oh fora oh fora yeah you like probably oxygen, get it on amazon eph- euphoria maybe like yeah. maybe that's the wordplay and by the way, just to tell you what it has in it, nano purified, hyper oxygenated, which is a registered trademark, hyper oxygenated for them. Deuterium, <laughs> deuterium, yeah, yeah, deuterium, depleted water. So there you go. Cool. That was our review, guys. Thank, Thank you, Jay. You, Thank you.